Good afternoon children. Welcome to your science class. We are running the chapter fiber to fabric. Today we will talk about the silk fibers and how the silk fiber is obtained from the silk worm and we will study about the life cycle of the silk worm and the procedure. Formation of silk fiber. Silk is very important natural fiber. It is soft, lustrous, elastic and strong. You will be surprised to hear that yarn produced by silk is much stronger than the steel wear of similar thickness. More importantly, it can be colored very easily. There are different varieties of silk of which mulberry, airy, tassar and munga silk are of commercial importance. Most commercial silk is mulberry silk which is very fine white fiber. Silk fibers are obtained from cocoon of the silk worm. Let's understand the life cycle of the silk worm and how the cocoon is formed by them. Female silk moth lay hundreds of eggs at a time. When the young organism growing in egg reaches the larva stage, it comes out of the egg. Now, the organism is known as caterpillar or also called silk worm. The silk worm feeds on leaves of mulberry plant. When it grows and is ready to enter in the next stage, of life cycle called pupa. It starts weaving a net around itself forming a shape of eight. While doing so the silk worm secretes a protein which on exposure to air becomes hard. This is the silk fiber. Silk worm covers itself completely and enters in the next stage of its life cycle called pupa. The covering so formed is called cocoon. Inside the cocoon, the pupa grows and becomes a moth. The silk fiber is obtained from the cocoon of the silk worm. The rearing of the silk worm for obtaining cocoon made of silk fibers is called sericulture. Here we complete the chapter. Thank you.